What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the player who lost $200,000 playing a mobile game. Now I already know what you're thinking and listen, I wish that this was clickbait. I, I really do, but this is 100% legit. Uh, this happened in a game that I play regularly, and the footage that you're watching right now is of a player in a game called Rise of Kingdoms. If you saw my last video, you're familiar with it. His name is Solomar in the game, and essentially it's just like any other mobile game where you can build up your, your, your kingdom, you train your troops, you go to war with other players. And you're watching... You're watching Solima lose to approximately two hundred thousand dollars and when i say that he lost two hundred thousand dollars i don't mean he spent that much money on this game no what i mean is he spent that much money on this game and you're watching it get deleted what you're what what you're watching is all of his progress in training his troops go to zero so what does this mean this means that he spent real money, $200,000, to build up this army, and this army is getting killed and is literally being deleted, meaning what he spent his money on is gone. He can't get it back. The only way he can get it back is by waiting years worth of time or by, you guessed it, spending more money. So how does this even happen? How does a player, how does a human being lose $200,000 uh, in, in real money on a digital game? So in this game, Rise of Kingdoms, there is a two month long event called Kingdom versus Kingdom, where your kingdom versus off against a bunch of others. And near the end of this event, uh, one of the passes that keeps you safe, one of these gates that keeps your city safe, ends up going away and the other enemy kingdoms can then come in and attack your city. Now, there's plenty of ways that you can defend yourself against this. Uh, the primary way is by actually leaving the event, right? At the end of this event, if it's clear you're not going to win, you can simply leave and you can remove your account from the event and you can't be affected by the players that are there. However, Solomar didn't, uh, he didn't log in and his team had left days ago. It had been days where he had been there just alone. He must not have logged in. And the enemy teams, the enemy kingdoms realized this and they ended up plotting a, I think it was like eight alliances or 10 alliances. So basically eight or 10 teams of players coordinating uh, attack after attack on his city. And since he was offline, there was nothing that he could do about it. Um, he was his city was you know I get auto battling back. Uh, but when you have that many players attacking you at one time without any assistance, uh, there's really not much that that can happen unless you log in and actually uh, t you know remove your account from the Lost Kingdom the, the the event, or by using an item like a peace shield or something like that. But Solomar was busy. Uh, he he wasn't around. He wasn't online, and he hadn't been for a couple of days. And his city got attacked by dozens of players simultaneously. Um, it was obviously a a uh, a heroic uh, event. You know the the amount of uh, coordination it requires to do something like this is is truly astounding, and it's really not that uh, easy to pull off but it happened uh, this this happened i believe this was back in september of 2018 or 2019 i'm sorry and y y what you're seeing uh is is solomar losing all of his troops now if you've played any of these games this probably isn't that shocking to you i mean i'm sure it's like it's insane but i'm sure you can understand how something like this can happen but for most of the world if we if we take a step back right for most people this is insanity like this this people probably don't even realize that this is even remotely possible right that you could literally invest money into a game and the digital resource that you're investing your money into can then be taken away by other players while you're not even playing right while you're not even online it's not like call of duty where you can play and you die because you're worse than the enemy player right 
this is just your off your phone you're offline and other players can come in and destroy what you've spent your money on right absolutely insanity and the fact that it was to the degree of two hundred thousand dollars and and again guys i'm sure i'm sure if you've never heard of this game and you've never heard of this this genre of mobile gaming i'm sure you probably don't believe me and you probably think that i'm exaggerating for clickbait or whatever the case is but th the game tracks your purchases right and your entire alliance can see how much money you're spending and there were everyone in, in solomar's alliance knows how much money he was spending on the game because it literally tells your alliance when you're spending money on certain packs and everyone knows how much the packs cost so he was spending like $800 a day for a ridiculous amount of time to build up this army, right? So the the number is real. Uh and, and it's it's scary how how it's actually real. Like that's a real number. And it really raises the question should this be possible, right? And like that sounds weird to say because I live in America and we're all about freedom and you should be able to do whatever you want with your money, right? And I get that and I appreciate that, right? And there's value in that, in that, in having that as a core principle. But I, I just, you think, you sit back, right? And you think, you know, $200,000 is a life changing amount of money, right? For most people, right? If you get $200,000, you can buy a house, right? It might not be the best house in the world, but it could be a good house, especially depending on where you buy it. Um, that's enough money to invest in, in, in your future. You can invest in like a 401k or stocks or whatever, and actually have a retirement fund or put that towards a retirement fund. Should I say, right? It's an insane amount of money. It's an, it like some people have to work like eight years to, to have that much income, not even like profit, just income. So to think that you can lose the and and it was over the course of like, I don't know, two hours maybe maybe less and of course there was coordination that happened before that but the actual event of him losing all his troops uh, was was relatively short i mean this the amount of money and progress that that took it took months of time to get to that point and it was taken away in like an hour or two it wasn't like this thing where he was offline for a week and like what no this happened in like a very short amount of time so it raises the question like I, I, there's so much going on in the world, right? There's wildfires, there's natural disasters, there's poverty, homelessness, hunger, disease, you know, debt crises everywhere. And, you know, here we have people, um, and th again, this is not, I'm not like, it's not like I'm attacking this one player, right? He can do whatever he wants with his money. But there's an entire community of people that play these games and you know this this story is is probably not that uncommon right i'm sure this happens in other games rise of kingdoms is not the only game where this is the case where this could happen right in some form or another so it really makes you wonder like <laughs> shouldn't shouldn't there be a cap that right like shouldn't there be a, like a ceiling as to how much money you can spend on one game right and then after that, there should be some sort of message or pop-up that's like, hey, take this $100,000, $200,000, and please use it on something else. <laughs> like, anything else. Like, like put it towards a charity, or put it towards building a homeless... Like, that much money is insanity to be invested into a digital sense that is then taken away so quickly. It blows my mind like it's complete it's it's shocking it's really shocking I it's so weird that this is what gaming is these days like these pay to win games it's so crazy right it's just absolutely nuts if you were to ask somebody 20 years ago what do you think game is gonna be like in 20 years uh, I don't think many people could have predicted this I'd really don't and man it just it really it actually hurts like i almost take it personally because it's like that much money can make a difference and 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 what's in what's crazy is that when solomar logged back in after this happened and he realized what had happened he wasn't that phased he, it wasn't that big of a deal to him he was just like oh wow like that kind of sucks but 
uh, you know, I'm sure it was really epic to see that happen. And so it wasn't that, you know, it didn't really matter. And he didn't quit the game. <laughs> like, he's, I'm pretty sure he still plays. Like, he probably still spends money on this game. So, you know, obviously to him, this wasn't a big deal. You know, to him, he must be a millionaire or, or billionaire, right? He must have insane amounts of money to where $200,000 not only isn't unreasonable to spend on a mobile game, but also isn't unreasonable to just lose with a snap of a finger. Like, like he must have a private jet. He must be some sort of like absolute uh, millionaire, billionaire, right? It, it ha he has to be. So th it begs the question, like, people are really allowed to do this. Like, people are really allowed to spend that much money on a mobile game and then have it taken away, right? And that's another thing. Like, if he spent that much money and it was, like, for cosmetics that you just kept, then it's like, yeah, it's a waste of money for most people, right? But at least you get to keep it. But, but in this instance, it's gone. The money he spent is gone. He doesn't even get to use what he spent it on. It's over. Completely mind-blowing. I, I need to know your comments. I need to hear your opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, turn on notifications for, for any new uploads. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I really appreciate you guys watching. And I just need to know what you think about this. Have you heard? Did you hear about this? Have you heard of similar stories? I need to know. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.